All right, all right, all right. Today is day 58. It's a medium problem. The first problem we're evaluating under the greedy, uh, greedy technique pattern. And it's the jump game, number one. Uh, what lead code number is this? Let me, let me see. Lead code. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's lead code number 55, and it's a medium. So yeah, let's get to it. So it's a single player jump game and the player starts at one end of a series of squares with the goal of reaching the last square. At each turn, the player can take up to S steps towards the last square where S is the value of the current square they're on. So for example, um, if the value of the current square is three, the player can take either three steps, two steps or one step in the direction of the last square. He can't move in the opposite direction. That is away from the last square. So our task is to write a function that can check whether a player can win the game or not. Now we have a nums integer array representing a series of squares. It started in first index and following the rules of the game, they try to reach the last index. If they can reach the last index, true, return true. Otherwise, return false. And it looks like this. So if they, can, they start off here, if they can reach here, so at two, they can jump up to two steps. At and reach here then here they can jump once here they can jump once so yes they can reach four and the value of it uh, da, 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 da. all right next oh okay it's gonna step through it for us so that our first index we can either jump here or here um if we choose to move to one then three we can either go one two or three so the answer is true for that um, in this example, the answer is false because there is no way from, from here to get to here. And we see why. If you're at three, you can either move to two, one, or zero. If you're at zero, you can't move forward because zero steps, right? If you're at one, you can move one to zero. You can't move forward. If you're at two, you can move to zero. So you're stuck there and you cannot reach the end of the game. And that is all about that. Let me... Look at the solution real quick. Um, so the key is a greedy approach, a greedy pattern. Now, the naive approach is to try every single option, right? every single option given to you, which gives you an exponential time complexity. But we're smart, right? So we're going to use the greedy pattern that we're going to be evaluating for the next few days. And how does this work? We start by traversing our array from the end. Ah. Okay, and we're greedy, we, we can come back to this actually, but let's look at how they want us to solve it. We start from the end, right? Because that's where we want to reach at the end, right? After everything. So we move one element back and check if we can reach the target from here. So our, tar our target here is the last element. So yes, we can. So that's a good number. Da -da -da -da. Hence, we change our target and we're looking to reach this target. So now we found that, oh, from here you can reach here. So let's see where else we can reach here from. Yeah. And we we step back again and find, oh, we can actually reach this from this. Nice. Okay. And then we do it again. Now this is our goal. And we have three here. And we can, we can reach this from this. Awesome. So just keep going like that. And then can we reach three from two? Most definitely. And so we return true. That's how we know that this is done and it's a it's a solvable game so uh, this is what the solution looks like we have the jump game function it takes in the numbers numbers array which is represented here and we loop through the entire array from behind from the very last thing so for we set our target index to the last element um so yeah that's the four, and we don't want off by one error, so we don't use length, we use length minus one. Uh, so this is our current target index four. And um, for i equals the length two steps prior, so we're gonna start from here, from one. Um, while i is greater than zero, decrement i. Now we check if the value there is equal to um, that index, whatever is at that index, plus the value of that index, if it's less than or equal to that. So that's what we're checking, is one plus, in this case one, uh, is it gonna land us uh, at this index? So 
uh, well, not one, the index here, i here, is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3. So 3 plus 1, is it going to give us index at 4? And the answer is true. And because that is true, we update the target number index to what i was and go again. And that's what we see here. And we do that till, we, till we're done looping through everything in the list. And then after outside the loop, you say, oh, did we get to zero? If so, return true. Otherwise, return false. And that's all there is to this problem. Arguably, not a hard problem. No, not even a medium, actually. But uh, yeah, there you have it. See you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, actually, wait. What am I saying? Huh. I've not done time complexity. All right, this uh, time complexity, we we'll, we loop through the array only once. And so oh, I just want to get to the end, guys. Just want to get to the end, please. Um, so time complexity is O of n. So it's linear. We traverse the array only once. And we don't store anything extra. So uh, space complexity is 1. We don't use any extra space. That's all. Bye-bye.